Hello and welcome to a demonstration video of Bootstrap Platter 2018. Uh, to take you on this tour is no other person than Bootstrap's founder and CEO Yabwachi Yadom. Um, Bootstrap Platter is an excellent tool for financial analysis. To install, well, we just go to Google Play, right? Uh, we just, uh, well, the other app stores. Bootsoft websites, whatever. We search for Bootsoft, and then we see here Bootsoft Platter. Okay, so this is it. Excellent financial calculators and planets. Bootsoft Platter has the best financial calculators available to help you with your financial analysis. Retirement Planner has been added. We do have here a few screenshots. Okay, so this, this is you know the tablets screenshots okay these are the phone screenshots okay so uh, let's start we begin we click open to start a software this is the bootstrap platter 2018 home screen this is welcome to bootstrap platter 2018 this has all the ultimate financial calculators you need to manage your finances Okay, so there's a message, and then we have two buttons. One is menu, the other says about. Uh, we'll be visiting these two buttons later. Then there's the uh, uh, bootsoft.com, which is the company. It will take you right to the Bootsoft website. Bootsoft Platter is a great application which has the most common financial calculators, commonly used in financial analysis. In designing this application, Bootsoft took into consideration several things including the financial calculators to include and the nature of the user interface. The result of the hard work is this great piece of software. This software is unique in many ways. One of the features which I would be demonstrating is the feature which allows any of the variables in an equation to be calculated. I will be demonstrating this in a moment. Who should use the software? I'll tell you. This software is appropriate for financial managers and those who work within finance departments. Uh, you know, controllers, treasurers, uh, cost accounting manager, uh, financial accounting uh, manager, uh, corporate accounting manager, pension fund manager, foreign currency manager, uh, you know, and so on. Okay, uh, credit manager. Well, uh, it's, it's appropriate for all financial managers. Uh, for CEOs, uh, this is an excellent tool. Uh, for those who work uh, for the government, government finances, analyzing ca cash flows is great. So, uh, MBA and Doctor of Business Administration students and graduates will find the software very handy. It has all the tools needed in capital budgeting decisions. That's all the tools you need to make capital budgeting decisions. You can analyze cash flows for as many periods as you want. That is one unique feature about the software. It is also appropriate for the ordinary man or the man on the streets who wants to plan his or retirement, calculate loans, savings, and mortgages. Two features deserve special attention. With all the calculators, you do not need to enter the minus sign involved in cash flows. However, you have to do this for time, value, or money calculations, as well as bond calculations. I'm sure you are familiar with this. Those conversant with financial analysis should understand this. We usually place a minus sign before the present value so that the future value generated is positive. Or we leave the present value positive so that the future value is played with a minus sign. We also do the same uh, for the payment film. We don't make it, uh, you know, positive or negative. Okay, so this is portrait view. Uh, we, we've gone back. Okay. Now, the work of the financial manager as we know it is to plan the cash flows needed to meet the company's financial obligations and purchase the assets needed to achieve the firm's goals. We must not forget that the objective of a firm is to increase profits, is not to increase profits, but to increase the wealth of shareholders. You know, the agency problem that we talked about. 
So the objective of a firm is not to increase profits, but to increase the wealth of the shareholders. Okay, so like I said, we do have two buttons here. Uh, let's look at the About button. Okay, so uh, we want to know more about the software. So we tap the About button. Okay, yeah, it says what? Both, we, are, we have the Bootstrap logo, the Bootstrap founders picture, and then the Bootstrap platter, the platter website, put our website, boot, blog or Bootstrap CEO. Uh, well, yeah, now you can see it's Bootstrap platter 2018 in portrait view. Now, uh, in all our screens, uh, at the bottom, you see the home button. Uh, if you want to return to, to the home button or the home page, you click the home button. So I'm going to tap this. Now this brings us back to the home page. Uh, home uh, page. Now uh, we to visit the main menu. We just tap the menu uh, button. So we have the main menu, right? We have uh, the list of calculators. There's a time value calculator, capital budgeting planner. Internal rate of return, net present value calculator, mortgage calculator, loan calculator, savings calculator, perpetuity calculator, growth rate calculator, valuation calculator, simple return calculator, return on investment calculator, break even point calculator, capital asset pricing model calculator. Bond valuation calculator, inflation calculator, and the retirement planner. Okay, now when you, uh, uh, well, you can see that Bootsoft has selected many great tools, you know, uh, just to make your financial calculations easy for you. Uh, if you want to return, just tap the arrow button, you know, as you scroll, it, it, it uh, remains at the same place. Tap it, it takes us back. Okay, now um, let's go. So we're gonna visit our first calculator, which is the time value calculator. Okay. Okay. Uh, this uh, is an ad. It has take a while, uh, but don't worry. Uh, the first time. Okay. So this is an ad. Okay, from Bootsoft, the software that display ads. Okay, so we've closed it. Now we do have the time value calculator. Now uh, we have the top at the top here time value calculator, right? But uh, well, you see these buttons there. You know, uh, you see the text boxes by each of them when you uh, uh, when you're about to enter data, it gets highlighted with the blue outline. Right, and then there are buttons on the right. Okay, now the buttons represent the fields. Well, on the buttons, you have the labels of the fields, but you only uh, uh, click or tap the button that you, uh, uh, of the value that you need. For example, if we need payments, we we'll enter all the fields and leave out the payments field. When we are done, uh, we'll tap payment. Now, the great thing about this piece of software is that uh, it allows you to calculate several fields. The present value, the annual interest rate, payment, periods, uh, the future value. Then uh, you can also change the compounding period. Okay, so now let's begin. Uh, that uh, This is the compounding period. One uh, means what? Once in a year. So... But we can change it. We can change it. We tap on the combo box. Uh, you know, the list comes up. We have daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually. Uh, so we can just tap to change it. This is monthly. And with monthly, we have what? 12 periods. Okay. Um, when uh, you select quarterly, that gives us four periods in a year daily 365 periods in a year in financial analysis we mo uh, most of the time is 360 but the software is 365 if you, uh, you want to calculate daily okay so now let's start with annually 
Okay, so the present value, uh, we begin. Uh, let's get with an alpha the minus two hundred thousand. Okay, so we've entered two hundred thousand. Now we enter annual interest rate. Uh, for point six. So we are done. The payment. Uh, we enter. Uh, four thousand and then we click on where uh, well we, we want to find the future value but we haven't entered periods if we should uh, uh click hit on uh uh okay so now let's go on now this there's a, an important point that i must emphasize here when you don't enter valid values into these fields, they resolve to zero. When you type X or, you know, letters instead of numbers, right, the field will be resolved as zero. And your uh, answer would be wrong. So you've got to be careful when entering the values. Okay. You might sometimes uh, see error there. Error in one of the fields. Okay, so now let's. This one is let's say ten periods. Okay, so since this is annually ten periods means what? Ten years. So we to calculate it now we need future value. Okay, so we leave out the field that we need, the field that we are calculating, and then we tap the button by it. Okay, so uh, that would give us was two hundred and sixty four. One nine six seven eight. So we enter the present value as uh, negative. Well, if we should erase it and type the future value, you see uh, a negative sign uh, by it. Okay. Now, uh, what if we want to calculate the rates? Let's say we if we change it to payment, we change payment to let's say six thousand, and we want to know the uh, rate that will give us this value. What do we do? We just tap on the rate field. So I just tapped it. Uh, well, we do have an ad. So this is an ad uh, showing up. Uh, Okay, so we click on the X to close it. So this is a Google ad. You just click, yes. So yeah, yeah. now uh, it has calculated this. So our annual interest rate is 3.84. Okay, so we can also change the compounding period. Now let's say if we change it to monthly and we wanna find uh, monthly 10 periods. Uh, let's say, let's increase the number of periods. Uh, let's say if we change it to uh, 30 periods and we want to calculate uh, so we want to know the present value right which will give us this value we just tap on the present value field okay so we have changed the uh, compounding period and we do have our answer and like I said to always go back we tap the home button so i just tap the home button we are back to the home page the home button is always the button at the bottom now uh we click menu we're going again we go uh, we go to our capital budgeting planner internal rate of return net present value calculator so this is the capital budgeting planner uh well it might seem small here okay so we have the year the cash flow and then the frequency. So year zero, that's the initial. Well, you know, it's usually an outflow. So let's say if we enter hundred thousand. Okay, capital. Well, we can add commas. Uh, do not add commas. You know, in the time value calculator, uh, in the bond calculator, the other fields you can add commas. 
Okay, so that now this is an outflow, okay? Uh, no, exactly. Fine. Now, uh, so this is it. Uh, so we can add as many cash flows as we want. So we just scroll it up this way or scroll it down. We just drag it up, drag down, right? So now there are 11 periods, 11 uh, years. So we just, to add one more year, we just type the add row button. So you see it has added one, you can tap one, add to it. That is the clear button, okay? Now on your right, we have the values. I'm dragging it. So we have the cost of capital, net present value, internal rate of return, payback period, then equivalent annual annuity. Okay, so after calculating it, you can just drag it, yeah, just to see the values. Okay, uh, so th we are this we uh, we're just gonna enter a few cash flows, and then we'll, we'll see. Okay, uh, you can also just tilt it into portrait, portraits. Okay, so so we have the clear button. There's the calculate. There's home, whatever. You can enter values this way. You can drag it up. Uh, uh, drag uh, or drag it down. All uh, right. So cost of capital net present value internal rate of return payback. Yeah. Portrait view. You can just drag it up, drag it down. On tablets, well, it's just great, but it still works on your phone. It still works on phones. Okay. So uh, now the first year, uh, twenty thousand dollars cash flow. The following year we get we enter sixty thousand. Cash flow. The third year we enter another cash flow. Okay, so we can change the frequencies, right? We can type it, change it to what two. Uh, change it back to one then uh, we can click what uh, we, you know we can just click any of these buttons to calculate the value just click any of the buttons so I just tapped MP okay so now there's an advert uh, well you'd have to just get used to the adverts okay so we did not enter the cost of capital but it has calculated it for us so our net present value is 40,000 the internal rate of return is uh, 16.14 and the payback period is uh, what 2.33 years okay now if we enter the capital uh, cost of uh, capital uh, let's, uh, let's enter cost of capital 10 Ten percent. You don't need to enter a percentage sign, okay? So you click it and we click it, okay? Now what does it give us? It gives us now we have the net present value of twelve thousand eight hundred forty-seven, and then we do have the equivalent annual annuity here, okay? So uh, this is just a short demonstration. Well, we can change it if we change the periods. Okay, what if we change it to periods? What answer would we get? Uh, we, we tap on it. Uh, uh, well, it's calculated it for us. Okay, so the internal rate of return, I change it to 17. The paper period, I change this to 3. And the equivalent annual annuity. Uh, changes to six thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Okay, so you in portrait view you have this, and we can drag it up, drag it down, just to see our values. See that going up a nice cut. You see the button calculates. Yeah, right. And when we are done, uh, what we want to do is, again, we can just tap the clear button. The clear button is here, and you see all our fields that have been cleared. Okay. So this, we type the home button to get back. We click menu. So there's the mortgage calculator to help you with the mortgage calculations. Uh, this is compounded monthly, but you can change it. It's the same, you just enter your values. Okay. 
uh, loan calculator, savings calculator, perpetuity calculator, growth rate calculator, valuation calculator, you know, uh, simple return calculator, return investment calculator, break even point calculator, uh, capital asset pricing model calculator. Now, for the capital asset pricing model calculator, let's say we enter a risk free rate of uh, 7%, market return of 13%, required return of uh, 18%. Now, what will be our beta? So, like I said, we just we always leave out the field that we want and we tap the button of the field that we want uh, uh, on it. So, we just tap it, we get asset beta coefficient, and that gives us what? Well, there is an ad. Uh, okay, so we just close it, we closed our ad. So it is the asset beta coefficient of 1.83, okay? Uh, we can just change it. What if we want the required return to be uh, uh, nine, uh, what, let's say 20, okay? What should be, what will be our risk-free interest rate? 4.57, okay? So, uh, well, we can just calculate it, tap, the, uh, tap it, you know, just to go back and forth, you know, that is it. So then there's the bond valuation calculator, then there's the inflation calculator. The bond valuation calculator, like I said, well, you need to place the minus sign by it. You know, we just place it by the price, you know, they have the yield, the coupon interest, the, the coupon rate, uh, the coupon, the annual coupon or whatever, the periodic coupon. You know, it's usually compiled and semi annually. Okay. Uh, and then there's the inflation calculator, and then there is the retirement planner. Uh, it's usually uh, compounded annually. Okay. So uh, this brings us to the end of our short presentation on Bootstrap Platter 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you wouldn't have any trouble whatsoever using Bootsoft Platter. Okay. Uh, we hope to, I hope to get your feedback. Uh, you know, we tap on about. You, will, you can see if some websites. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you uh, once again and stay blessed.